Welcome to Chandwell. My name is Michael and in this series we are following the development of my Law Relief Victorian Hotel from initial inspiration through to eventual completion. Let's get straight into episode 2 where I build a mock-up of the hotel from cereal packets. In the last episode I showed you the beautiful and interesting Midland Hotel in Bradford and the first steps that I took to design a low relief hotel inspired by it. I used cheap A4 copier paper to mock up my design in 3D and see if I was on the right lines. I felt that I definitely was. But the more I looked the more I realised that there was something wrong. I eventually realised that the real hotel, despite being the same height throughout, is a six storey building at one side and only a five storey one at the other. I'd managed to pick elements from both sides and mix them up, hence none of the windows aligned properly. I went back to the drawing board in Inkscape and I took more care with the overall design of my building. I eventually settled on 10 individual parts which should go together nicely. I used Inkscape's clone feature so that any changes I make on the master drawing are reflected on my overall elevations and on this part here which I am using to check how all the windows align. I use a really quick method of mocking up buildings in card. I print very simple line drawings onto cheap A4 sticky labels, smooth them out onto empty cereal packets, lightly score the fold lines, cut out the building, fold as one foldable net. I'm using one long building at the back. It's only 10mm deep and it has an unnaturally steep roof pitch. It will never be seen end on and it is used just to give the backdrop to the overall building. Just like the real thing, I want my building to look like it has different types of roof coming out at all angles. There are some complexities that need to be worked out, like this mansard roof which adjoins the back building. Thankfully the roof technique I described in a recent video works really well here. This unusual shape took no maths to work out and it was only the work of minutes to draw. Once cut, folded and taped together, I ended up with a mansard roof that adjoined the back wall really nicely. Despite the lovely roof, it was obvious that my measurements were a bit off elsewhere. Like this, no trains will ever be able to access the local release line in the station. But this is the beauty of the card mock-up really. I've wasted no time or real effort in checking for these issues. Here's another interesting roof, which is a gable that protrudes from the mansard roof we just looked at. Again, it was just cut out and folded, and thankfully it slotted into place really nicely. This is the most complex building in the design, and I thought that I was definitely on the right lines here. But once again, the card mock-up made me realise that I had this arch different sizes on both sides. This needs to match because it's going to be an open arch through which people can walk. I made this end building lower to fit beside the station building and help tie it together. I wasn't too happy with the first mock-up though. I thought it was still a bit too tall and imposing beside the station building. And this large flat roof would both look strange and be hard to do against the curved back scene. So it was more cutting, sticking scoring, cutting and folding, this time with a lovely hipped roof. This building is much smaller than the original but it slots into place nicely. The concourse entrance looks like it will work well and when this thin building complete with large chimney is in place I really like this end of the hotel with its nooks and crannies. Here's a quick look at how I made the roofs all line up. Starting with an elevation of both sides of the mansard roof, I know that the ridge is at the same height as the ridge of the back roof. I know that the back building is 10mm deep, so I draw a 10mm rectangle as a guide, and then just pull this part of the roof out to match it. Next, we need to get the roof elements the right height so they join up when folded in. To do this on the lower part of the roof, I measure this line here, and then just make these parts of the roof exactly that height. Line it all up. And then the top bit, measure this line here and make these bits the exact same height. Line it all up. Once cut, folded and taped, we have a mansard roof that joins up and the resulting shapes will be the basis for the eventual building roofs when I make them for real. So there we are, 10 buildings and a retaining wall all making up the overall building. I have the hexagonal tower at this end which will be an interesting challenge, especially its domed roof. 
past this elegant tympanum topped part and onto this mansard roof part with an interesting gable making the roof look really intricate. This will touch the retaining wall and will have an arch under which people can pass to access the rest of the hotel's rear. This flat roofed building is the part where the hotel goes from five stories to six. First floor on the right is lower than on the left and this lovely terrace will allow outside access from one level to the other. I think I may model an open archway here to represent an opening onto the street at the other side of the hotel. The whole thing will be dotted with chimneys. The real building has loads of massive chimneys that must be about five and a half meters tall. I think it's almost time to start this building for real now. I'll leave it like this for a few days so I can look at it and be confident that everything is working. It is now 25 days since I started this project. In that time, I've spent 32 and a half hours to get to where I am now. Mock-ups have come and gone, but I'm pleased with where I've ended up. I've used 19 sheets of cheap A4 copier paper and 20 sheets of A4 sticky labels. This has cost £1.56 plus a bit of sellotape and some printer ink. So I'm about to make a start on the back building. Hopefully I'll have some actual buildings to show you next time. So until then, thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you next time.